Hey there, thanks for joining me today. We are talking about offense. You know, Satan tries all the time to get us offended and distracted and off course by being hurt or being offended at something. But it's time to get rid of our past. We can no longer live in our past and what has been done to us. It's time to move forward. In fact, Paul tells us in Philippians 1.13, Instead of looking back to press towards the mark, to go forward. You can never go anywhere in life if you're looking back, looking at your past, looking at what people have done to you, dwelling on it, going over, nursing your grudges of what people have done. You can no longer live in your past. You've got to move forward. If you bring your past with you everywhere you go, it's like this ball and chain that you're carrying with you everywhere. You're dragging your past. And it's just this ball of offenses. It reminds me of a heavy backpack. And the other day, my son Dylan, he carries this big heavy backpack to school every day. And I said to him, why don't you empty that? It was just full of old papers and things he didn't even need anymore. It was old school work. And he said, oh, I'll, I'll do it another, you know, I'll do it sometime. So the next day I said, why are you carrying that? You got so much junk in there. Why don't you get rid of it? So this went on and on and on for weeks. He's carrying this heavy backpack around with unnecessary stuff in it. So finally, the other day, I made him sit down and unload that junk and get all of that unnecessary stuff out of his backpack. And he put it on and I said, now, isn't that load lighter? And he said, yes, it's much lighter. It feels like there's nothing in here. So for weeks, he had been, for months actually, he had been carrying around this heaviness that he didn't have to carry around. And that's what you do when you carry around those old offenses and things that have been done to you. You know, most of the people that have done stuff to you have gone on with their lives. They're not even thinking about what they've done. Some people don't even know they did hurt you. They've gone on, they've moved on, and you're carrying that heavy backpack. But I'm telling you today, to pull all that junk out of that backpack and throw it in the trash and get rid of it once and for all. It's amazing how light your load will be when you can get rid of things that have happened to you in the past. It is the most freeing feeling to no longer be bound and held, be holding on to things that have hurt you. It's time to get free from it. Don't carry that heavy backpack around anymore. Listen to what Galatians says. It's in Galatians 5, 1. It says, we have freedom now because Christ made us free. So stand strong in that freedom and don't go back into slavery again. That's what that heaviness is when you walk around with your past. It's, you are slave to your past and Jesus has already set you free. You don't have to walk around with the heaviness anymore. So I'm encouraging you, if you are still carrying around things that have hurt you, Open that backpack and start pulling that stuff out. Get free of it. Throw it in the trash and don't pick it up anymore. Don't live in slavery anymore to past offenses. Jesus has made you free. Amen. You are free today. In fact, I want to pray with you right now. Just close your eyes and just take hold of this right now and just say, Lord, I want to get free of this. So, Lord, I just lift up whoever's listening right now. And we just bring everything that has hurt, all the hurts, all the offense, everything from the past, and we release it right now in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for your mighty power that comes in, takes away the hurt, takes away the pain, and we are free. Say it right now. Say, I am free in Jesus' name. Doesn't that feel good to know that you're free? Come back next week. We're going to do part four of this session. I'm so glad that you are here today. And I just encourage you to just stay in that freedom. Stay in it. If a, a thought comes up that you've had, say, no, I'm free. I'm not going there anymore. All right. I'll see you again next week. Have a good day.